Millions of children across South Sudan are suffering because of the ongoing conflict. They face hunger, disease, and the risk of injury or death every day. Thousands also become unwilling participants in the violence themselves as child soldiers. However, fresh efforts are underway to advocate for the protection and release of these children by the United Nations Agency UNICEF and the United Nations Peacekeeping Mission in South Sudan and diplomatic missions. They have set up a group of friends to engage in political dialogue with those who violate action plans protecting children from involvement in combat. Um, our work is not just about the release of uh, the children in the armed conflict. It's about all violations of the rights of children in armed conflict. That is the killing and mining, the recruitment and use, the abductions of children, sexual violence, denial of humanitarian access, and attacks on schools and, and, and hospitals. Um, when, when you talk about the release, the release is really significant in that it's, an, in, it's a way of one, first of all, getting the children out of uh, the armed forces. Two, it also helps educate the people that children should not be in the in part of the armed forces. It also helps the families to get their children back, back to them and then provides opportunities for children to go back to school and live the, the normal life they, that they're supposed to have and that they have missed. So this, the importance of this group is that they provide us an opportunity to engage internationally, nationally and locally with the parties of the conflict and to all people who are concerned who want to provide support to these children. It is estimated that up to 17,000 children are being used in combat in South Sudan. The United Nations and diplomatic missions are pushing for the first release of some of these children, which is expected to take place in early February. UNICEF's representative in South Sudan says the biggest challenge is reintegrating the children into the community. We will continue on pushing despite setbacks, despite delays, uh, despite inconveniences, despite the ongoing conflict. Uh, our job, including the groups of friends, and I think also the government agrees in the different groups, is to make sure that these children are released. Now, obviously, there is issues in terms of logistics, difficult terrain, and so forth. But these are challenges that I think uh, can be overcome if we continue on pushing. So there is challenges. I think everybody agrees. But uh, challenges do not normally stop people from going forward. So we'll continue on going forward. Uh, and we'll continue on working. I think the most important thing to, to talk about are issues of reintegration. That's the difficult part. Releasing children is not the, the hardest part. You have to agree, of course, that could lead to some difficulties, but so that they go back home and they stay there. So this is what I'd really like to advocate about to communities, to the government, to these different armed groups, that once children are demobilized, it's for them not to re-recruit them again once conflict surges. The push to free child soldiers comes after parties to the conflict in South Sudan signed an agreement on cessation of hostilities, protection of civilians and humanitarian access in Addis Ababa last month. Canada's ambassador to South Sudan is optimistic that progress will be made. Of course this issue will be bound up with uh, a host of other questions about uh, the resolution of the conflict, bringing a durable peace to South Sudan, an effort we all know will be challenging. Um, we think though that uh, consideration for the special needs of children needs to be at the forefront of those uh, efforts because they're particularly vulnerable and they shouldn't be caught up in these, in, in these uh, difficulties. But uh, naturally as, as we struggle to bring a durable peace to South Sudan, we'll hopefully be able to make more sustainable gains on uh, removing children from the battlefield and uh, preventing their, uh, their recruitment. The group of friends acknowledge support from the government and other armed groups and say removing children from the battlefield is a priority and part of the peace building process whose time is now.